right, today we're going to do a demo of Amazon Bedrock and how Click and Use Generative AI and Amazon Bedrock to help us augment our analytics. So what you see on the screen is our SAP Order to Cash Analytics Solution Accelerator. We have a system that, a SAP system that we actually take the data and, and move it into Redshift and then we push down language or metadata which allows us to take the SAP codes and column names and then convert it into things we know. So what we're going to focus on, well, we could focus on the whole thing. What we're going to focus on is a billing analyst. On our accelerator, we currently have a billing analysis sheet that shows us how who were billed, what the uh, currency, what the sales office, etc. And as you can see, the local currency from the sales organization division amount. The data itself, on purpose, is very dirty. I want to point out it's very dirty and it has like discrepancies and negative values. So, but the, you know what we want to show here is how do we add generative AI capabilities or how do we add capabilities to ask questions about this data and get insights. So, for this show, which is the AWS show, we have, we integrated with a technology called Amazon Bedrock, which allows you to access your own versions of large language models. Let's go to that sheet. So what you see on the screen is the same sheet, but we, I've added on this side a set of uh, prompts and answers that are generated from a large language model. We picked uh, Anthropic's cloud model because it, it gave the most human-like answers and it was the most efficient. Uh, and what you see is we're asking the first question we want to ask. With all LLMs, you have to be very prescriptive. Ask a question that is very uh, pointed toward a very detailed. So we're going to ask, write a summary of billing details for my business from SAP data provided. Provide detail about the best customers with their sales organization and division and net profit. So this is a question that I want to ask. And the actual prompt is we're going to take this, we're going to ask those questions, and we're going to take the data, compress the data, send it in. The technique at Click we've decided to use is something called prompt engineering is the ability to ask questions while supplying the background data or the data needed. Why, why we did that is on every sheet or every applicate, click applications, we have full access to data that we're reflected on. So when we send that data, the first answer we got was, here's a summary of billing the details from your SAP data, and it tells you the, the top customers from uh, one through 10. It tells you what the sales organization and what who the most profitable customer is. And here he says the most profitable customers are, are from Denver and Germany and they're in division seven. So now we're gonna go from a very prescriptive detailed question into more of a casual question. Since we've you know throughout the day I've asked I've actually trained asking questions and sending data actually trains the LLM and the LLM itself knows that this is a say a uh, billing data from a manufacturer coming from SAP. So write me a quick synopsis and it tells me these are profitable customers. Uh, the question is, this is my billing data. How am I doing? Write me a quick synopsis. Just like I'm talking to an assistant and it, it tells me my top 10 customer by profit and top customer by sales organization. So, you know, there are others, unknown organizations. And there is a data quality issue, but it picked all that up. Finally, you know, Power LLMs, and when we actually uh, push the data on, they have the ability to look at the data quality, and I ask, do you see any data quality issues? It says, yes, I see data quality issues, inconsistent sales organization, and division values, and it says zero profit values, and duplicate customer. I think this is very powerful for uh, Click to be able to take, have that capability for a machine to inspect the data and give us a guidance like a compass or a navigator to show where we need to go. Uh, just to kind of show the reprocessing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on a certain uh, division and what that does is Click allows you to slice the data so we only look at it in certain contexts. Let's say I'm, oh, I'm a country manager uh, from Germany and I'm going to click on Germany and the green button comes up and it actually just refresh really quickly. And then I am going to click on Division 7. All right. What you see right here is the data that's in context in Germany and Division 7 getting compressed and being sent over, being sent over to Bedrock and our instance of LLM and the questions being answered. 
So it says there's only 22 customers in this data. And then it tells me what the net profit range is and the top uh, highest profit. And then it also gives me the data quality issues here, which is great. So if, I, if you were a data governance person and you wanted each organization to be in, on top of their own data, you could actually look at this. Uh, this is not all. As all, we have one more thing. With Click, the technology, we have an open technology that they're able to send the data back and forth. So we've been able to create a chat GPT, like a platform, but just for your data. And using prompt, prompt engineering technique, this is gonna send your data. I'm gonna clear out of all selections, and I'm gonna ask a very, very casual question. What insights can you glean from this data? This is a very casual question, and let's see what it gives me. So it's sending the data, and it's understanding the, the terminology insights, and it's also naturally understanding the question, and it's gonna give me a response back. While this is going on, as you can see, the more data you send, the more latency you're going to have. The, and you need to be able to tune your backend LLM as far as temperature and tokens and such. So that's kind of things we've done, and we could definitely help our customer. So here are the insights that it, it, it came up with. There are a large number of customers, over 700. And there's uh, customers in different sales organizing division, some customers. Anomalies, data are fairly messy. And these are great insights that we can get. Uh, one more question. I'm a sales manager. What customers should I be concerned about? So this is about persona, uh, taking a persona. LLMs allow you to take a persona, and the answer will be different, and the way they look at the data and perspective will be different, and I want to show that's capable. So it's going there, and it's, it's taking a persona of a sales manager, and when I say sales manager, I, I notice that it looks at like net profits a lot more, so we're going to get an answer from this. So when the answer comes out, we'll discuss this, but this is kind of a the direction I think we and the capability that we are we're providing to the market who are customers who are trying to get into the Gen AI and the LLM space. When it comes back, I'll show it. We'll... All right. So based on the data provi provided here are the customer I'll be concerned about. Others, others, 800, unknown organization, unknown division, very high net profit, decreasing profit trends. So in summary, the type it gives me a, the customers I'll be concerned about. So this is, this with governance, quality, asking questions about it, data is what we provide with our integration with Amazon Bedrock. Thank you.